Hello everybody, so today I'm filming my November favourites which I'm so excited to film because I do actually have a few things that I haven't talked about before so very happy about that but I am doing my favourites for this month a little bit earlier than I usually would because I just wanted to get it filmed and I just have quite a few things that I want to do. My Christmas videos are going to be starting um, within, you know, the early days of December so I just wanted to get all my November videos kind of filmed um, pretty soon before Christmas. So yeah, I've not got that much today so I'm just going to really get straight into it. So the first category is makeup and I've actually got like two products to show you. The first one is the lip gloss that I got from Primark. If you saw my haul I did, it's a H&M and Primark haul. I bought, bought these two items and these came together in a lip kit and what shades is this in or does it not say? I don't think it has a shade name to it but it's actually a really nice lip gloss. I'll try and do swatches as overlays. Oh, the phone's ringing. Okay. Sorry, the phone is ringing. Um, but basically, this was £3 for the set, so a really decent price. And I decided to pick this up. It's like a really nice kind of brownie lip colour. I've literally worn this so much since I got it, so I know I really do love it. And it comes with a lip liner. The lip liner colour at the end actually looks really pale, but the actual colour of the product is nowhere near as pale. Again, like I said, I will do swatches. And it lasts really well. You know, it is Primark. It's not going to last that, that long. But yeah, very happy with it and love the product. The second product I got was actually a brow gel. And this is a kind of liquid brow gel. This was also from Primark. And you can see it's not as clear as it used to be because obviously when I put it on my brows, I transfer some of the product I've already put on my brow into here so it doesn't get as clear. But basically I use this to make my eyebrows set in place, just kind of stiffen them up a little bit. I always have the issue of my eyebrow hairs kind of going in really funny places throughout the day or if I put a hoodie or a jumper on, they would just go like zoom. But now I've used this, that does not happen at all. It is a really good brow setter. So if you want to get something just to set your brows in place, and this is a pound, so would highly recommend. Also in the makeup line, I have the Ordinary Coverage Foundation and the Ordinary High Spreadability Primer. I have done a whole video on the Ordinary products, which went up on Wednesday. So if you wanna go and check that out, I'll link it down below where I talk about these and why I love them, but they're definitely favorites for November. I'm obsessed with both of these. So yeah, go and check that video out if you wanna see me talk about them, but I'm definitely not gonna repeat myself in this video, it's too soon. Now on for skincare, so that's everything for makeup. Now we're talking about skincare. Okay, so the first product I have is this from Garnier. And this is actually what it says is new. So it's one of their new products. And it's the Micellar Cleansing Gel Wash. It has, um, it removes makeup and cleanses and mattifies. So it's for combination and sensitive skin. So when it said removes makeup and mattifies, I was like, okay, I've got oily skin. This might be quite a good product for me. And it's for your face, eyes, lips, and it has grape extract in it. So actually, this sounded like a really good product. I actually went into Superdrug looking for some Garnier Micellar water, so the actual water itself, not this as in a facial wash. And I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, this was like two pounds something. I'm not sure whether it was like reduced or anything or whether that was the original price, but this is basically a facial wash that removes your makeup at the same time, so two in one. I used it. I've been using it and I'm absolutely loving it. Like I was completely shocked at how quickly this removed my makeup. I was not expecting it to, you know, remove my makeup that easily. And what I mean by that is my mascara because that's the, you know, the most hardest part to remove my makeup. And it just literally wiped it all away straight away. I just kind of scrubbed lightly, washed it off and my face was as if I had removed my makeup and then washed it. So yeah, very happy with this and I'm absolutely loving it. So yeah, um, can't wait to keep using this. And I also wanted to talk about another facial wash. So kind of contradicting myself a little bit, but this has been a longer favorite than that Garnier one, but this is the one that the family uses. So that's my one. This is my, the family one. And I use this one in the morning. So this isn't a makeup removing one. This is just for a general wash. I'll use this in the shower, that kind of thing. And actually it is really, really good. I'm very happy with it because I feel like um, products like Simple, so you know the range, the brand Simple, their facial wash is way too plain for me. Like I don't feel like it's doing anything. It's good for people with sensitive skin, but for me, it's not good enough. This 
feels like it's actually cleaning like you can feel the strength to it it's not you know really like powerful but it just makes me feel refreshed it makes your skin feel clean so yeah been loving that and because it's from Lidl it's super super cheap and yeah this one is for normal and combination skin so that's everything for skincare now I'm gonna do fashion so the first thing is an accessory actually so that kind of counts for fashion for definite and this is a kind of really nice necklace here and it has a G on it so I don't know if you can see but this was from Primark like I, I believe it was from Primark like I don't know like a year ago I got this and I think it was a pound and I've literally become obsessed with it like it's just like a subtle a really subtle but nice piece it just adds a little bit of something extra to an outfit I'm not really a jewelry wearer but I do try and incorporate it where I can because I do like jewelry um and I'm really I don't know I just feel like it's so simple that it kind of adds that extra something whilst also you know really not being too out there so yeah really love that and it's a G for Georgie and then next up I have the star of the show which is actually something that I bought and you would have seen it if you saw my Primark and H&M haul this is a jumper and it is a woolly jumper from H&M if you want to see me kind of properly try it on and stuff then I probably will do an overlay clip for this video and also it's in that haul but it's very very thick it's high neck it's grey it looks nice the sleeves are like this it's been my most worn item for November it's so cozy it's like the perfect thing for autumn winter and I literally I'm so glad I got this I'm literally obsessed so yeah obviously I can't really show it here but on the overlay clip you would have seen it so that's kind of all of my fashion favourites. Obviously, I didn't want to talk about too much. I'm now going to talk about TV and YouTuber favourites. So TV favourites, I am loving The Apprentice. I feel like that's actually my favourite programme of all time. I know I'm a celebrity, get me out of here is coming on and, you know, I love that as well. But I don't even know if The Apprentice kind of beats that because... I just love it and if you haven't seen it then you can obviously research what the show is all about and stuff I'm not really going to explain it but I'm just obsessed with it and if you watch it you'll probably know why I just I just love it it's a show that I could never go on myself like for obvious reasons but I could never go on anyway um because that's just not the kind of person I am but I love watching it it's just really fun youtuber favorites I have been obsessed with a woman called I think it's Tammy or Tanny or Tarty, that's it. She's called Tarty and her channel, she's got like 3 million subscribers or something like that and she uploads every single day and I was like, whoa, like happy days. I always love someone that uploads like really regularly, like three to five times a week. She uploads pretty much every single day and I just love that and yeah, she does lots of makeup videos. It's very makeup based so if you're not into makeup you won't really like her but yeah obsessed with her channel and i've been loving that so that is all of my favorites for this month so far i'm really excited for christmas and do december for christmas and december i'm not sure if i'll do a december favorites probably not because that's just what i'm going to be getting for christmas so yeah super excited for that so if you liked this video give the video a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and i will see you in my next one goodbye I also had a food favourite and it was a cup of soup, minestrone cup of soups and I love them. Um, but it's over there and I can't bother to get it.